Hey guys, it's Nicole, and today we're going to make a card from start to finish. Um, I already sort of made the base of the card, and I'll show that to you in a second, but we're going to be making a card for my sister-in-law shower. I actually made two of the same card because I have a friend at work that's pregnant as well, so I figured I would just prep two cards at once, and I've already completed one. Let me share with you some of the products we're going to be using. Um, both are having little girls, and originally I was going to use the little Bo Peep paper from Crate Paper, but I decided to switch it up and show you guys how um, you can use a Valentine's Day paper just as well for a girl's card, and it still looks very feminine, but doesn't have to be the typical um, colors. So I've used this pack a lot, as you can see. It's one of my favorites. And my two favorite papers, these two I'm already out of, so I'm going to have to buy this stack again because um, I seem to use it a lot. I also am going to be using this Lawn Fawn stamp set. It's called Plus One. And we're going to be using um, a few of the sentiments and this little mobile right here. What else will we be using? We're going to be using a few Copic markers to color the mobile, and these are the ones I've picked out. This is BG32 Aqua Mint. BG01 Aqua Blue, R32 Peach, and Y13 Lemon Yellow. So just some real simple coloring. I'm using two Nestability dies. I'm using the circle and then the scallop, large scallop circle. And then for dies, I'm using the Dainty Bows die from MFT to make myself the smaller of the two bows. And then this one, which is called Sentiment Strips, and we're using one of the Sentiment Strips. So, oh, and the last thing I just wanted to share with you is this paper from MFT. One day when they were having a clearance sale, I typically get paper tray ink um, felt, but um, this one was on sale, so I got it, and it's the perfect pink. So what I've done here is this um, is a four and a quarter by five and a half card that opens this way. Um, I took the paper, I cut it long ways, and then I left it open and I ran it through my cuddle bug with this washi taped here to make a little window. And then, oh, before I did that I adhered designer paper on here and then designer paper on the back because since I'll be coloring on this, um, this is really not that good a quality paper to do Copic coloring so it does bleed through. I'll show you on this card without showing you what the card would look like. See how it sort of bled through? So I've decided now to cover both sides, and it just makes for like a hardier card. It's just very sturdy. Um, so I've done that off camera because I don't like to do my um, die cutting on camera. It just takes too long. So this is how it looks. And so now we're going to work on um, the center of the card, which is where we'll do our stamping. And so the first thing I like to do is take a pencil and just lightly, really, really lightly draw where the circle is. So that way I know where best to stamp. So what I want to do is I want to stamp this mobile die, but I want it to be slightly longer of a um, of a hanging piece. So I'm going to only um, ink probably up to here and stamp it, and then I'm going to use this recollection marker to make my line a little longer, and then I will stamp the bow. So you'll see how that looks in a second. And of course we're using memento ink so that I can in a dew drop so that I can ensure that I don't ink the bow yet. That's good right there. And then I'm gonna get a wipe, which I should have already had out. my little box of wipes here. And I just want to clean off my stamp so that I can ink the bow separately. But what I'm going to do is draw this line. Um, let me get something with a straight edge. We'll use this little... No, what do I want to use here? I'll use this. Just because I don't have a ruler handy. I just want to make this a little longer, like that, and then I'll stamp the bow at the top, so I'll just ink the bow now.
just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take this little star stamp that's right here and just stamp that randomly around here. And I know my sentiment's going to go down here, so I won't stamp too far on the bottom. So I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take the mint green and I'm going to color in the little valance on the mobile. And there's no shading required, this is just to give it some color. Then I'll take the blue and do the small star in the middle. The moon, of course, will be yellow. And you don't have to use Copic markers if you don't have them, guys. You can use whatever you want, colored pencils or regular old crayon. In the front of the card, I'm going to write congrats, and so I want the inside to say uh, there's a bundle of joy on the way. So I'm going to set up that entire sentiment on my block the way I want it to. Well, first I'm going to do theirs uh, on the first line, and then bundle of joy on the way will be on the second line. I'm going to put that down and get up again with memento. Tuxedo black ink. And it looks like that. And then I like to just, now is the time to erase this. So we kind of worked on the inside first. Um, and then we'll work on the front of the card. So before we close it, I'm going to use some Prima Sating Crystals and a few of the pastel tones and just add it to just add a little bit of bling to the um, movie right here. Just like that. So that's the inside, and then on the outside here, um, I used, I cut this little die. What I did was I put this die face down on my designer paper and cut it. And then after I cut that, I laid this inside to make a border like that. And that's how you get this right here. And then this is going to just define this circle right here like that. And I'm going to use some um, Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. And then I think I'm going to add a bow right here. Actually, you know what? This time I'll, I'll add it down here, I think. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun for that and put this together. You fold this side over. And then you fold this side over. So I did both of these cards a little differently, and I'll show you both of them when I'm finished so that you can see the difference. So 
put that over. And then I'm going to put this right down here. Then I'm going to take this piece. Sorry, my desk is filled with stuff. Um, I want to take this piece right here, and it's one of the designer papers that I cut with those label dies, and then I ink the edges with memento ink, and that's going to go right up here. And I want it to say congrats, so I'm going to spell that out. I'm going to use a capital C and then all lower cases. And I'll try to fast forward through this part for you guys, so you don't have to watch me put down every letter. And then on either side, I'd like to put a little rhinestone. And I think I'm going to use these pink ones here. And there. One there. And I'm going to put this on dimensional adhesive. And that is our card for this time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.